I remember when in my last relationship, I had wrote this song, and you don't even remember what you mad for. Like, it's so aggravating when you're in a relationship with a woman, and she has told herself to be mad at you. She want to come towards you. Her heart is pulling herself towards you. Her emotions, her feelings, pulling herself towards you. And then she got feelings that's telling her to ignore me, to treat me bad for a little while, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, teach me a lesson, all this shit, and that and the third, because, like, like, Shada don't want to be mad at me, but from the initial energy of the conversation, she told me, well, I answered the phone, I said, I love you, Kaja. And she was like, I love you too. I'm just mad or whatever. Then she was like, it's good to hear your voice. That's showing me love, bro. Like, it, <laughs> and this is for... It's not for her. I don't want her to see my videos, but I have no, like, at this point, I, I ignore the shit. I try to ignore the shit. But because sometimes, you know, I put it like this. It have been wiser if I don't let her know that I know. Because now, if she found out that I know, she probably going to monitor herself the next time we talk. And just be, come off nonchalant from the get-go. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, sorry, I didn't do nothing to you. And, well, I've already apologized for that shit. So, at this point, I have done nothing to you. You went from being happy talking to me, to having a conversation with your boss, to ignore me. And I'm not finna sit around while you treat me like shit. I'm not finna sit around like I'm desperate to talk to you. I'm not. <laughs> Obviously, I'm not desperate to talk to you. So, yeah. Thing is good, though. I just had, like, I just had to give her space, man. Like, because if I don't, I'm expecting her to be lovey-dovey, and the fact that she not is causing more pain towards me. That's another way that she's suffering more. All I got to do is heal from the pain. She got to deal with the fact whenever she gets to a point or she understands what she's doing, she got to live with that. She got to forgive herself for treating me like that like I know one day she gonna look back and be like this lady really fucking love me like all she was asking for was my time like like and I know this because she done told me this before you know what I'm saying like this is a normal normal pattern this is the only problem I've ever had with my girlfriend. The only problem is being ignored. This is what started all the bullshit. So it's like she can never expect me to change until the initial problem changes. You know what I'm saying? And I can't expect for her to change righteously i just have to look towards the day that we move back in because that's gonna fix the problem of me feeling ignored like just point by period like i can deal with the shit better in person than like how i've been dealing with the shit recently like i, I know i can like well i've done it you know what i'm saying like i've done it <laughs> Shit, 
she over there talking about a whole nigga, but she <laughs> she over there taking care of a whole man. But I gotta change my anger. She she, she really expects me to be like, okay, you're faithful to me. You're not fucking him. So that fixes everything. No, it don't. It don't. It makes it worse. Because you're still, how it looks to me, it seems like you still spend more time with him than you do with me. I know it's not true. It don't matter. It don't, it don't, it's, it's not about it being true. It's about... It's about you can talk to your sister and your auntie at night, but you can't talk to me at night. You know what I'm saying? It's about shit like that. Like, you more loyal to him than you are to me, but you want me to change my anger. Motherfucker, I'm pissed. I call you B word every day because of how hurt I am. So, I don't know where you think I, I'm at in healing, but... Just because I treat you like gold, don't mean I've healed on my soul. It don't mean I've healed. I cry about this shit every day. Just because of the simple fact that you, I ain't even going to get too deep into it because I've already talked about it and I'm trying to heal from it. And I don't want to go that deep because... I just don't. I don't feel like thinking about that right now. It's going to bring more energy that I don't want to feel. You dig what I'm saying? Like, I'm charging my phone right now. But when I'm done, I'm going to go outside and do the little challenge, I think. Oh. But, yeah, like, it be killing this. I just wanted to make a video to talk about the fact that these women be killing me, bro. Like, you rather tell yourself 